Why is this such a popular motorhome? One thing Winnebago does really well, they take advantage of everything. Not many RVs have dinettes that recline. Pretty much 99% of the time I have to get up in the middle of the night. I'm not a fan of this bed. It's utilizing space, which yep. is really smart. As we're making our way outside, we just know that this whole door, this is very different. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and we're gonna be reviewing a very popular Class C from Winnebago. It's the Winnebago View 24J. We're gonna take you on a full exterior and interior view of this one slide, large interior motorhome. Before we move any further with this exterior tour, I want to thank the official sponsor of this video. It's RV Snap Pads. What is RV Snap Pads? It is the world's only permanent jack pad, and we are now in another motorhome that does not have them on. We've right. had RV Snap Pads on our motorhome since pretty much day one. It's right. been over years. four years, and we're still on the original pair. Right, so some benefits of RV Snap Pads, you're going to have permanent jack pads installed at all times, so no on and off. It's going to give you increased stability for each landing foot. You're going to have added protection for your jack feet from any any type of bending or damage. It's going to reduce slipping and sinkage on soft areas like where we are now or on grassy areas like at Harvest Host and place like that. And it's gonna give you protection from indirect lightning strikes. So a couple of things about RV snap pads. They offer snap pads for trailers, truck campers, class A's, B's, C's, super C's, mm -hmm. all of them. If you have an RV, more than likely they have one for you. Also, they're made in the USA and they always give discounts to first responders as well as military. But if you don't qualify for that, you can use the discount code. Endless 10. And you get an additional 10% off. It's kind of a no-brainer, guys. They're pretty inexpensive and they last a really long time, so go check them out. So why is this such a popular motorhome? We're going to show you, but basically the size and the reputation of Winnebago. So the 24J measures 25 feet, six inches in length, and it has one slide. And that one slide, which is on the driver's side, is really gonna open up the interior when we go inside. Another reason why it's so popular is right here. It's on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis which is extremely popular not only because of its ride its towing capability but because of the technology inside the safety that it brings with the mercedes chassis so this is on like i said the sprinter chassis 3.0 liter six cylinder 188 horsepower turbo diesel and it has a 5,000 pound towing hitch now this is in the higher end of class c motorhomes and the price will reflect that but with the higher end you get higher amenities so starting right out front of course mercedes you're going to have the LED accented headlights, the fog lamps, which you can't really see too well because everything is so tight here, but you do have full body paint throughout. So you see the striping, but you don't feel it, right? Because this is all cut and buffed. It's all in-house or provided by Winnebago when you order. One piece front cap, and you're going to see inside, this is going to greatly reduce the chance of any kind of leakage because there's no seams here, right? You have the seam over here, but everything else is seamless. And right up there, you see the frameless windows, which again, when you're on that bunk inside, you're going to see how much it opens things up inside now as with any class c or super c you have multiple ways of getting into the unit so first way obviously you can get right into the passenger seat which is turned around another benefit you can swivel these around becomes part of the living space we'll show you that when we go inside now you have the large mirrors that allow you to see down the side of the motorhome you also have this step i don't know if you noticed that before so if you're a little bit shorter or vertically challenged as they say it's going to help you step inside and then let's look at the wheels aluminum wheels and Another advantage of having a Class C, everything is smaller. It's not like those big Class A's where you have those 22 and a half inch tires. So this is riding on 215, 85, 16s. Continentals, much cheaper to replace and much easier to get because you can get that at any automotive or tire box store. Now let's continue down the passenger side. One nice thing that you see, and again, reflected in the price, you have Gerard style awnings running the whole Pretty much the whole length of the passenger side. You can see that above. Full body paint also on the door. Frameless window. Let me just show you the inside of this door. One thing Winnebago does really well, they take advantage of everything, right? So you have the inside of the door with the privacy shade. You also have storage here, storage here. So you have less space because this is a smaller Class C, but that space becomes more valuable. Now, going down the rest of the passenger side, these are not frameless windows. Some people like that, some don't. This gives better venting, and a lot of people like it for that reason. Reason. On the Class C's, you are reduced on the amount of storage space. I'm going to show you some of the bays here. Finished out in Rotocast, but you do have a little bit of top. I don't know if you can see that, but there is some space up here. You can see my hand. Here's where your inverter charger is. Now, this does come standard with solar. However, lithium is an option. 
We'll put the link to this coach and Winnebago down below on the Winnebago's website. You can see all the options you can get because there's quite a lot of different options. Now this does have propane on board. Suburban furnace will give you your heat. And then you do have a Truma AquaGo and that's kind of a key. If you ever see a Truma AquaGo on a motorhome, it has to have furnace. These do not run on electricity. Electricity cannot provide the kind of power that's needs. You must have propane. So that's kind of a key getaway, a key, key giveaway. You also have docking lights on the top of this, which is really nice and is on the campsite. Here's some additional storage. And this is really nice, guys. Like this is not the norm for most for class C's. Yeah, that's great. And you have up there too. Now I do want to make comments. So this door is fiberglass with the slam latch. These doors are aluminum. The construction of this is fiberglass walls as it is for many RVs, but look what you have on here. You have not a 2200 or a small kind of off-brand generator. You have a Onan 3200 quiet diesel generator, which will be plenty to power this. And you also have conveniently on the campsite, you have a quick connect. If you want to hook up your propane, you have your Blackstone, you have your quick connect right there. So this is going to be your gravity fill, I shouldn't say your gravity fill, your external, if you want to fill your tank, tank outside the uh, city water connect be right over here which is a little bit odd that it's on this side it's usually going to be on the driver's side some more storage which is really nice again finished out in the rotocast and another thing i, I just want to add and you don't see this on a lot of class c's you have a uh, automotive style latches with locks which is really nice sometimes you just get those turn ones and they're really cheap but this is definitely more secure now, i just want to show you the rear here again i can't really get at it because everything is so tight but all finished out leds you also have a ladder to access the roof this right here is the exhaust for that onan generator and you also have standard rear view camera now going down the driver's side you have your this is such a tiny little baby wet bay <laughs> but you have your wet bay here i do like that they give you access control for the water pump and then you have an outdoor shower. You have your fresh water connect. Your valve here will go from fresh water to normal to tank fill. You have your gray and your black tank flush. I'm sorry, your gray and black tank pull. And then over here, you have your black tank flush. You cannot open the next you bag. just make up a word. <laughs> you do oh. have some additional storage here. Look at this. This is a lot of Class C storage. Be cool to put like either some hooks or... Yeah, some command hooks. You could definitely put in there. A tool, uh, you know, something for tools, a little pegboard. Yes, and it is lockable. Now look at... So you do have a large slide here. It's on that slim rack slide system. I don't know too much about that. I know the Schwinn Tech sometimes can be a little bit unreliable. Put in the comments below if you have a, a slim rack system and how reliable it is. Now, let me give you some specs on tanks, guys. So here are some more specs. Exterior length, 25 feet, 6 inches. The height is 11 feet. The width is 7 feet, 6, 6.25 inches. Exterior, exterior storage is 43 cubic feet. Interior height, 6.8 interior width 7.3 the fresh water tank capacity is 37 gallons hot water heater is continuous holding capacity this is pretty impressive black tank is 41 mm. gallons and the gray is 41 gallons the lp is a 50.76 pounds the fuel capacity 24.5 gallons of diesel and then the gross combined wheel vehicle weight rating 15,250 pounds the front axle 4410 pounds rear axle 7720 on the pounds and the wheelbase is 170 inches and it's clean to sleep for people. What about, that's actually, no, it, it's more. This says four. Yeah, no, I saw another site that actually said six and I'll show you when we get inside, but what about the carrying capacity? Because I know people always like it's that. It's not on here. It doesn't have the carrying okay. capacity. Okay, we, we'll look for that. All right, a few more bays here. A lot of storage for a Class C. So you have, again, kind of that quasi pasture storage and it's this is easily cleanable your slide around slide room controllers over here and then there is the helicopter overhead and there's the uh, your propane as well as the controls for the hydraulic uh, system this does have four corner hydraulic hydraulic leveling which is really nice you don't get that too often especially on the lower end class C's. and then let's show you the driver's side this is where you would fill up for your diesel. And they finish out that door, paint it out, makes it look really nice. And then you have the access step to get inside. If you enjoy motorhome tours like this, we invite you to hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you know when we go live and release new videos. Also, we have a private Facebook group we would love you to join. It's called Endless RVing RVers Coming Together. And we have a free monthly newsletter. The link to sign up for that will be below. Let's go inside and see what this 
looks like. It's a pretty heavy door. It is. And I, I like this too. As Izzy mentioned, you have all these little perks right on the door, some space saving things that um, really come in handy. So when you come in, you're going to have down below, you have your awning controls, your battery disconnect, here's your equalizers, and then some of the lights for the kitchen. You want to show them that screen door? Sure. That's really nice. You want some of that air and light coming in, but you don't want the bugs. That's perfect. So coming on in here, we're going to start with, you have a, a large bunk over here. There's your ladder. You have two kind of pockets here to keep stuff, but they also close the windows. If you want to throw some things in there, you've got one reading light. You've got a couple 110 outlets over there with some USB ports to charge your devices. And then into the cab, you have some storage space up above on both sides. So you can see, again, I'm 5'9", so you can see how I'm getting in. So as Izzy said, it is on the Mercedes chassis. It's a very basic dash, but classy. As Mercedes does it, it's really, really nice. Just very simple controls. You have your cup holders here. These are they're powered. As Izzy said before, they swivel and they both recline. So this way you can have two extra seats to, you know, watch TV or, you know, to, if you're entertaining, you can use these as guest space. So into the main living area. So you have a U-shaped dinette here. You have a lot of large cabinet space here. You've got three across. They're carpeted inside. You have a, a nice picture window here with your day and night shades. So this table rotates as you can see. This is, these are recline. This is interesting. I've never seen, not many RVs have dinettes that recline. So that's what you're going to have here. This is going to come out and this is where, where we were talking about the sleeping space before. Winnebago says four. Some dealers I was looking at say six. So, be yeah. A, in a different be, interpretation. Be a little generous, right? So you could technically have, uh, look, I'll lay down on this so you can see. Now, I'm, I'm tall. So I'm 5'9". So I don't know how comfortable this would be, you know, if you put a pillow here. Maybe two Vern Troyers. Oh, that's right. Oh, stop it if you saw that video. I mean, you technically could use it as sleeping space. You know, for kids, I mean, it'd probably be fine. That's your dinette there. All right, so let's move on to this part of the kitchen here. You have a Greystone convection microwave oven, and then you have some storage space under here. You have sliding drawers there, a number of those, and then a closet here, which you can keep a lot of different things. I mean, that would be great for a little Swiffer or kitchen items, whatever you want. And then you have a really good sized drawer underneath. You can keep pots and pans and things for your kitchen, and that is soft close as well. So hopping onto the other side of the kitchen now, you're going to have, this is a Norcold, this is a 12 volt fridge and freezer. It has a very interesting smell coming out of it. I think somebody spilled something in there. <laughs> it's pungent. All right, here's your solar charge controller. You have your slide rooms. Your, here's your, your levels if you want to see your, uh, you know, your battery level, tank levels. That's where you'll do that. All right, so into the kitchen we go. So you have your controls on the wall here. So for your lights, these are some of your lights, but you also have your, your fan control right here. Okay, and then your accent Oops, your accent light, your ceiling lights, and then your accent lights are there as well. So here you have, I like when they do this, and a lot of uh, manufacturers are doing this, where you have an induction and a propane cook so top, so you have one of each. That's pretty cool. I actually prefer propane cooktops. Um, we have an electric at home. I really don't like it. Definitely like propane New better. New Jersey will be out on it soon. Yeah. So here is your, you have a double sink, stainless steel sink. This is really nice with this really nice looking residential faucet. They give you the cutting boards on the other side. So making good use of that space. I really like when they do that too. And you have a good size window to look out on the uh, passenger side as you're doing your cooking. Plenty of storage underneath. You can have... You can put a garbage can under there. They have a little silver place you can keep sponges or anything else in there. And all of these doors and cabinets, you know, they have that. So they're not going to come flying open during travel. And then you have three, again, three large drawers, all soft clothes under your stove there. And they light up. They do light up, which is nice. And then up above, you have an Insignia TV here with your sound bar. And this is going to be the main TV for the whole living area. You do have two TVs. There's going to be one in the bedroom. So this will be for the whole living space. I also wanted to mention too, as I said before, you have a fan here and you have one, there's a one AC unit. This is a Coleman Mach. So that's going to be, that'll be plenty for this whole RV. Oh, that's large. Yep. And here's your inverter and Gen yep. All right, on to the bathroom. So your sink is located outside the bathroom, obviously for space reasons. You have two 110 GFCI outlets there. There's a little cabinet and, you know, pretty simple sink. You do have a medicine cabinet here to keep your items. What I do like that Winnebago does, and 
some of their their models is they have the little w and there's one actually up the front too when you enter the coach so that's that's their little their little signature move then the rest of the bathroom is actually in here i like the little the curve in the door make you feel like it's a little bigger in here because it is it's a small bathroom obviously you have you know 20 what did you say 25, 25 feet yeah so so it's smaller it did give you a towel bar which i believe is a little crooked i've seen a lot of crooked stuff that ah here's your eye uh, your truma aqua go right here it controls you do have a water pump control and you do have look down here hun what is that that's is that a clean. is that a bidet no, that's to clean the toilet is that a bidet no, I know we have a lot of bidet fans. So yeah, this is this is tight in here. So again, I'm five nine. I can see well over here. This, so this is. Um, what we're we gonna call? We're gonna start calling these. Shall we actually are? That's, that's quite it. cheap. These are elf showers, right? So if you see the elf and he's like in the tiny shower like this. So for me, this is really tight. This would have to come out, especially if you're in there. Yeah, that's removable. Yeah. It, yes, it is. But as we're showering, I don't want to be banging my head. So. Tight on the shower area. Now your bedroom area. So as you can see down here first, you know, your vents off the floor, which is always a plus. And then you're gonna get into a bed. Now I'm not a fan of this bed and I'll tell you why, because I get up pretty much 99% of the time I have to get up in the middle of the night to go number one and so does Izzy. So this is gonna be a tough kind of bed for us because we're gonna be climbing over each other. If you have somebody that you sleep all night, great. So let's put that light on. You have the nice LED accent lighting, which is actually going throughout the whole coach. So that's good. So this is, let's see, I'll Pretty show clean. you. I'm not gonna put my feet on here because you know, I don't wanna do that. But yeah, this is a, well, it's a modified queen because you have it curving around, mm -hmm. but you do have the privacy curtain here. You have, let me get off and I can show you some of these uh, so can, cabinets yeah. here, okay? So you have three very large cabinets, all, all carpeted, through. yep. So there's no dividers blocking that. So you can put a lot of hashtag stuff in there. You're gonna have two reading lights above the bed, and then you're going to have a nice picture window here looking out. I, I like that a lot. And then you're, here's gonna be the second TV of the RV. I'm jumping in on MJ's interior tour. This is very easy to put up and down. There's kind of two little push latches here. Just push and then it comes right down. So super simple. Interesting recliner. Yeah, it, it's utilizing space, which yep. is really smart. As we're making our way outside to show you the price, we just noticed that this whole door we're both saying is very, very cool. But the way to exit, I just went to exit. Look, this is, this is very different, right? It's just different than your, your typical door handles. So everybody wants to know what is the price, both the MSRP and the show price here at the Tampa show. The price is $215,909 and the show price $168,409. Of course you can get less than that. Yeah, this is being offered by Lazy Days right. RV, but you can go on Winnebago's website. They have dealers Find a dealer all there. over the country and they're all gonna be competitively priced. So in the comments below, let us know, do you like Class C's? I know a lot of our subscribers, they have they, Class C's. Yeah, they do. Very very popular we see them at campgrounds all the time do you like this type of uh, winnebago class c or do you own one right and what are your thoughts on winnebago in general to the left of us if you like videos like this we have our rv tours playlist rv diy's playlist we'll put that all to the left of us and for myself and mj it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road, road.